I just want to let you know something, Bernie Wright. I'm coming after your guts, boy, so you better be prepared for me. Grass, I'm very sorry, but there's only going to be one winner, and that's going to be me. That's going to be me from the word go. I'm going to run you up and down, Dale, like you've never run before. I'm going to give you such a hard time, you wish you'd never come over from Ireland. And here is Bernie, Bernie Wright from Warrington. One of the um, stables from the Isle of Man that uh, started a few years ago and has been very successful. This is one of the most successful of them. Bernie Wright from Warrington. And he's going to take on Rasputin, a much heavier man in this catchweight contest. MC Brian Crabtree, waiting to introduce them. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This contest is an heavyweight contest, an international heavyweight contest. Ireland versus England to be wrestled over eight three-minute rounds. Two falls, two submissions, or a knockout will decide the winner. On my left from Warrington, would you welcome, please, Bernie Wright. In the blue corner from Ireland, wrestling Rasputin. And our referee for this contest, Mr. Ken Joyce. Thank you. Ken Joyce, the referee, the former World of Weight champion of Europe, one of the greatest World of Weight wrestlers that I personally have ever seen. Unfortunately, retired from wrestling now, but he gets in the ring somehow, thank heavens. There he is, Ken Joyce from Rushton, Northamptonshire, taking the once over over a wrestling Rasputin with the long blonde hair from Ireland. Bernie Wright, his opponent. Eight three-minute rounds, two falls, two submissions or a knockout to decide this main bout. Round one. A catch weight, of course, because Bernie Wright, who is 13 and a half stone exactly, giving away a couple of stone and a half to 16 stone Rasputin. Three minute rounds in this bout. Eight of them. Two falls to the side. Of it. Be interesting to see whether Rasputin tries the strength holds all the time. He's got that weight and strength advantage over Bernie. But as gravel fans will remember, Bernie is a very fast wrestler indeed. Out of the head scissors pretty easily. Toe and ankle. Grass booting still more or less in charge. But a nice spin out by Bernie Wright. wrist lever, Bernie Wright trying to make you climb, gets it halfway okay but still a little lever. The bigger man really holding on to this wrist lever now. And the knee stroke behind the shoulder and forcing the elbow to stay against the joint. Just a minute to go in this first round of eight. Backdrop, but he's still got the lever on that wrist. Still there. Wright will have to think of something. A little bit sharp to get out of this one. He's got half a minute to do it. Oh, 
That's that knee stroke again. Ten seconds to go, and uh, Wright seems to have no ideas how to get out of this. Oh, uh, he tried it, and it's right on the bell. And when the bell went then, the hold was still back by this man, right on Bernie's wrist. Well, there he is. Rastlin Rasputin, turn pro 1975. Haven't, we've only seen him once before. A couple of years amateur experience. Hobby, believe it or not, is motorcycle racing. Seconds away, round four. Meantime, Bernie Wright has only just got off the canvas, hasn't got back to his corner yet, and he's going to take more punishment before he even gets to his feet. <laughs> yes. Swinging uppercut suddenly. That caught him as a surprise. Bernie Wright was, was laying it on a little bit to make his man come forward confident. And there's a, an attempt again. He doesn't work it. Right, the hair maybe is in his way. He's trying to do the reverse. Waste lot there, but uh, couldn't get it right. And the pressure points again to Rasputin. Oh. Oh. Wise to go over the top there, Rasputin. Takes his man with him now, cross, cross, knee, knee, so he can hold it. He's held it. <laughs> Just one minute, 31 seconds, into round four, the first fall to Bernie Wright, despite all the show from his opponent. And one minute, 31 seconds at round four, the first fall of the contest, Bernie Wright. And this is how it happened. Okay, but he'd come off the ropes before that. Rasputin thought he had him in a folder. Right, pleats the turn out of it and gets the folding press. Quite a neat move there by Bernie Wright. Seconds away, round five. With four rounds to go, Bernie Wright leading Rasputin, the heavier man, by one fall to nil. And Ken Joyce making sure he gets right between the men because he's spotted some of the Rasputin inside boats. Missed the back elbow. Got it that time, though. And cross press. And he might have the equalizer here. He's got it. And the following round just took him 30 seconds to get it. One fall each now in round five. Ladies and gentlemen, in round five, the equalizing fall to Ireland's Ruslan Rasputin. Smile back on his face now. And this is how he did this one. The back elbow first to put Bernie right by surprise. On the second occasion, and Rasputin goes over the top of the folding press, grabs the leg, and Bernie has no chance of moving there. Seconds away, round six. Round six, three to go, and one fall each now. The Irishman Rasputin in the black tights, of course, and back into it just as Bernie Wright thought he might be controlling the situation a little better in the previous round leveled it off again at one inch now he's got the, the strength this man there's no question about that can he use it in such a way to stop Bernie Wright from using his speed grab the hair first 
Figure four head scissors there. And that alone could turn into a sleeper or a possible submission. Or if he doesn't submit, maybe a stalemate even. Many times this hold never gets anywhere. Considering a surfboard with this heavier man, I doubt if he can get him up, even if he gets the, reaches the arms. Can't even get the legs right. Wants a little more room, so he's trying it again. I can't see him lifting a, this man up in a surfboard. He's trying to side surf instead. It's more chance, but even that's going to be tough. He's lifting 16 stone there, and Rasput... Uh, you know what stopped Bernie right there? It looked awfully like... Awfully suspicious to me, but it's very difficult to tell. Only Bernie Wright knows exactly what happened there on the inside move. One minute to go in the sixth. Finally broke the hole on the top rope. I've been told about four times. And there's 30 seconds left in the sixth round. Just under. Using these ropes illegally again. I'm surprised that Ken Joyce is not delivering a public warning here. On the bell. Uh, Bernie Wright, who's uh, still not back to his corner yet, uh, is stumbling about a bit. He's one of the Ed Beckley gym in Warrington originally. Same stable as Dynamite Kid, young David. And, of course, Steve Wright, Bernie's younger brother. At the end of round six, Brasley Rasputin receives his first public warning. Second away, round seven. So, a quick public warning was given there by Ken Joyce to Rasputin. Right in the interval, the end of round six. Here we go. The final two rounds, we'll score one fall each. One public warning against the Irishman with the long, grey blonde hair. <laughs> and a drop kick finally. Monkey climb all the way over. Beautifully done. In fact, it took him too far. He landed on his feet. Or landed with his feet down. Can Bernie take over this bout after all against this heavier man? Headbutt to the temple. Straight fingers to the front. Hand chop. Side of the neck. And the headlock and strangle again. This is one of Rasputin's favorites. As a weak man. I don't think he believes he can get a submission with it, but he's a great weak man. Especially when he gets the hair all over the... Right's face there. Yeah. 
Minute to go, seventh. It's a sleeper. Right arm fell limp, so the referee orders the break. And Bernie Wright just coming out of that sleeper with 25 seconds to go. Every time Wright delivers one of those, he gets one back. And again, his man on the deck. One public warning against him. On the bell, round seven. Sent back to his corner. The question is whether he gets a public warning as well. Second. Oh, Rest really doesn't like the sound of that. He knows... British public hear what they mean and they shout easy and it's certainly not going to be easy for Bernie giving away that weight anyway Bernie not too happy in this contest so far seconds away for the eighth and final round final round eight then one fall each and a couple of public warnings against Rasputin less than three minutes to go in this contest now. Again, Rasputin, for no reason at all, illegal use of the ropes here. This is the advantage of this. Might be a distinct disadvantage. And the drop kill, that's, oh, smack, that landed very well. Right on the side of the chair. Less than two minutes now, in the box. Right on the top rope. Everybody's shouting, come on Bernie, come back into this, but I don't think he really can against this disadvantage of weight. Haven't seen his usual speed at all here this afternoon. Less than a minute to go now. Rasputin grabs the double arm, holds it with his knees, and the face bar. Double handed face bar. And I let's see the referee. Is he given on a. He's either given on a submission or he's. Let's see what uh, Brian Crabtree, um, MC Ryan Crabtree, has to say about that because I'm not quite sure. I think it was a submission. Let's see. Ladies and gentlemen, in the eighth and final round, the winning submission to Ireland, Ruslan Rasputin. And your appreciation for the red corner, Bernie Wright. Well, unlucky Bernie here this afternoon, but we'll be seeing more of him and when his speed will come back against somebody of his own weight, let's hope. So a win for Rasputin in the final round, and that's about it from Nottingham for this week. Next Saturday, Marty Jones tags with Steve Logan against the really big boys, Haystacks and King Kong Kirk. Till then, have a good week. Till next week.